So let's talk about how we do an accuracy assessment on an image after it's gone through some sort of classification routine, whether that's supervised or unsupervised. We need to do all of these things. We need to um, do ground truthing. And um, the ground truthing, of course, would be, first of all, randomly or statistic or sampling locations, maybe random samples of points throughout the study area, and actually going and seeing what's on the ground there. Once we've done that, we can compare it with the um, pixel values and make an error matrix. And once we've done those things, we can actually assess the accuracy of our, um, of our study, either the overall accuracy or these other two types of errors that we'll talk about later. But let's start with, um, after we've done the ground truth thing, how do we build an error matrix? This would be a simple example of an error matrix here. Um, along the top here, we put our field measurements. This was what's measured in the field. And along the side here, we put what the, um, what the values of the, of the classification were, or the remote sensing image, after we did the either supervised or unsupervised classification. Then for each of these, we see how often um, we were right. So in this example here, when we went out into the field of all of these points here, of all the 40 points we looked at, we found three that fell right on top of conifer forests. So um, we had three that were on top of conifer forest, and when we looked at the pixels, all three of those actually were conifer forest. So we did really well with that, and, um, and we got three out of three as far as what, what we measured in the field and what was actually conifer forest. However, there is another way to look at this, and that would be like going across this row here. We could see, in order to tell how good our classification was, we have to look at, the, at it the other way as well. Um, yes, three of the points we went and looked at on the ground were conifer and they were correctly identified as conifer in the remote sensing image classification, but one of the cells that was called conifer was actually water when we went out and looked at it on the ground, and one of the cells um, that we called conifer was actually deciduous forest when we looked at it on the ground. So what we can see here is that if we look along the diagonal here, this is how many times we're right. And, um, we can see that we were right. Um, we were right once for water, three times for conifer, 17 times for deciduous, and 11 times for urban. And then once we um, we can play with these different numbers in different ways in order to assess our accuracy. But the important ones are how many times we're right in each case, and then the overall number of samples we have here. And in this case, we would have 40 samples, which we will get if we just either sum the uh, rows or the column, the bottom row, or the um, right, rightmost column, we'll get that same number 40 because that's how many samples we had in our total, um, in our total ground truthing or um, field survey.